when I was on here with you, we talked about MK Ultra mind control, and I, I said, I may not have said it on your show, but in a subsequent speech, I did say, what MK Ultra mind control does is train people never to blame the guilty, instead to point the finger downward at the helpless, and never upward at the guilty. But um, you know, and, and and people in America are just under that kind of mind control, and it originates from Congress and from our government. You know, they they don't want to get caught as they're pocketing all the people's dough. And um, this is just more of it. I mean, these people. What gets me about the rule by psychopaths is that they're not ever satisfied. I mean, that they humiliate the people, take away their rights, take away. Like the the heroes who the heroes that we sent to Iraq, come home and their moms have lost their homes. <laughs> it, it's just it's uh, just a gluttonous orgy of uh, greed, death, evil, sickening. Uh, you know, vampire the vamp the vampire uh, blood sucking of our country and the and it's public's money. It's the public money that they're taking. And that just gets me, because I, I don't like criminals. And, uh, you know, I have five grandsons, and how am I going to tell them, hey, kids, you know, crime pays. I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I would like to see the guilty punished. And when we have a clear, a clear record of who the guilty are, and we don't ever hold them accountable, how, no wonder we have kids going nuts in schools. I mean, seriously, we need, we need some moral structure. I think that the whole thing is falling. I think it's in its, you know, I think it's falling. And uh, even to fight with it has given it energy. The thing I like to look at, Abby, is the, how, how women all over the world, of course, after everything's decimated and there's no, you know, there's no tribal rights to any land left at all for, for people. But women at the, at the uh, most crisis level in the world begin to rise and change things. Well, let's, let's talk I, about women I just women hold to really that. Quickly. I just hold to that. I hold that so deep and so close. I, I know you I do. I know that we can do it. I know we can do it when we're not raped, beaten, murdered, held down. When we're given a fair education the chance, or we'll do it. Uh, Roseanne, uh, according to the Department of Justice, 90% of violent crime is committed by men. What do you think accounts for this enormous gender disparity when it comes to violent crime? Oh, well, you don't want to get me started on that because I make lefties mad when I start on that. But, um, you know, it's all about patriarchy, but it's about patriarchal mothers, too. And I'm tired of people saying it's all men or it's all women. Women are raising these boys to do that, and um, there's no lie about it. Let's not lie about that anymore. Women, like the Spartan mothers, held up the uh, shield to their sons that were going to war and said, come back holding this shield or laying under it. I mean, women are the ones who really need to be real honest, take their place, stop supporting war, stop supporting um, punishing other women, stop it, stop being a patriarchal uh, bot and like let's invent something new we can do it and I was speaking to a gender expert yesterday who said that the culture of this overt militarism especially in America is due to gender indoctrination kind of what you're talking about that patriarchy and that male leaders continue with this rhetoric because they're afraid of being emasculated do you agree with that sentiment royalty invented a feudal system and everybody is on you know everybody under their class is a breeder that you know gives birth to the soldiers and you know to, that do their work for them so um, you know they needed to have a clear binary you know women and men so they can push that uh, wedding I call it the wedding military industrial complex actually my boyfriend Johnny made that up but uh, you know they got to keep breeders going because where are they going to get these kids to send off to their wars and molest and stuff you know they have to create that so they created this this these clear gender things for their slaves and their um, serfs and uh, you know they get a wedding and you know then they're happy they're a princess for a day <laughs> then they go back to the fields you know it, it's mind control it's feudal land barren capitalism mind control patriarchy it's completely obsolete it's funny um, it's funny when you look at it how ridiculously 
corrupt it is. It, and it's hilarious, too, because it's so psychotic. But, uh, you know, we just have to keep laughing it to scorn and watch it die. It doesn't have any place to go now. I think now it's like eating its own tail. I mean, the whole Saudi Arabia, all royal family, 911 Bush, all of it, it's eating its own tail. And everybody's like, truther, you're a truther. You know, when idiots are calling brilliant people stupid, you got a real problem. Uh, yeah, Rose, and I find it amazing this uh, kind of pejorative term truther for seeking the truth. And I mean, we've been saying that Saudi Arabia was uh, involved from the very beginning. We were called crazy. And now look Saad. at how validated we are. <laughs> it's House of Saud, works with House of Windsor, works with the Vatican, works with Rothschild. It's all one big friggin' mafia scam. I mean, I'll probably get assassinated or droned when I'm out of here. But it's all a scam, <laughs> a tired effing scam. These guys are such geniuses, these money geniuses. Here's how smart they are, Abby. They made money obsolete. <laughs> it's ridiculous. They're stupid. Yeah, I... It's so stupid. I can't stand when stupid people keep like winning i just can't tell you i don't know i just can't take yeah it. no and, and roseanne give us some advice here i mean your views on so much has attracted a flurry of trolls what's your message to all the haters who call you crazy for speaking your mind i say um intelligence looks like insanity to drooling imbeciles well roseanne i mean people better show up people better show up start reading Stop being bought off. If you only have an hour a day, read something intelligent. Read several sources. Uh, you know, educate yourself. Find out what's going on. Don't, don't stay asleep or go deeper into the mind control because it will get worse for you. Right. I like how you said all these institutions are completely outdated. They're irrelevant. And yes, we need to break out of this, this paradox. I mean, this look, paradigm. Abby. I know, Abby, they all lead to one thing, nuclear annihilate, this death. I mean, already we have to be like really honest too and really truthful about what does it mean when, um, you know, uh, there's a Chernobyl and a Fukushima. I mean, you know, really, is it that we are so on our way out because we've already had all those nuclear wars, the equivalent of all those nuclear wars we say we want to, uh, prevent maybe it's already happened maybe the fish are dying maybe the birds are dying maybe the coral reefs are dying maybe there's no you know there are water shortages now maybe all that stuff is it's the die is already cast and we're on our way out we're, we're headed for extinction and a few people who know that at the top are taking advantage of it and uh, you know hoarding everything they can hoard and uh, you know getting a big uh, sadistic thrill out of <laughs> tricking people and you have to wonder, I mean, do these people even know at this point what they're doing? Are they just perpetuating the system to maximize their bottom lines? I mean, these corporate overlords I don't, that run I don't our country. Think, I don't think they know what they're doing. I think they follow orders only. I think they have little intelligence and, you know, they have handlers. And, uh, you know, those are the corporations and the big money that owns our government, you know, the real owners of this country. And, you know, they tell their servants and whores what's what they want and uh how to provide it mm -hmm. and uh you know that is the reality that's the real big reality uh roseanne i have got to ask you about rumors of this new porn deal that you signed i mean you, you tweeted I <laughs> <laughs> is this for real <laughs> i didn't sign it um you know they did contact me because i said you know i couldn't i couldn't get a job and so i said i guess i'm gonna have to do porn and uh you know geriatric porn and, <laughs> and they did contact me and um i i just thought that was cool of them to offer me a job but uh you know i'll be i'm gonna be thinking about what would be the most pornographic movie ever made and i am giving a lot of thought to it <laughs> i like that you said it'll be i shot think it would star bandar bush it was star bandar bush. Star bandar bush you said it should be shot from a distinctly jewish grandmother's point of view satiating the immeasurable hunger of consumers of porn once and for all i mean i have to ask you why do you think that there is this narrative that women don't like or watch porn and that all female porn stars must be forced into the in industry somehow? 
Well, that's a huge question. Um, that's a huge question that involves trafficking and mind control and drug addiction and being molested when you're that that involves patriarchal analysis too. So I, I, I don't I don't think you have time for that one. But <laughs> I do know people that, you know, have chosen to to do it and you know, they're pretty intelligent, some of them, and uh, you know, uh, some of them have lived, but most don't. Well, I'm, uh, you know, let's hope that uh, you'll be breaking that right here, Roseanne, if you decide to go through uh, with the I'm trying to come up with the most pornographic thing for women. Uh, what would woman, what would uh, uh, the most uh, sexually stimulating thing for women in, be? I'm, I'm thinking about it. Okay, good. Thanks. Keep, keep Thanks, us Abby. posted on that. All right, Roseanne. Right here, right now on Breaking the Set, we're giving you a golden opportunity. Beat Hillary Clinton to the punch. Are you running for president? I am running for president. Uh, you know, I said I'm going to keep one, uh, running till I win. Uh, I doubt that the American people are smart enough to get me elected. But um, if, if there was a miracle and they woke up and understood what I'm really saying about their money, their future, their pensions, their homes, their children, and got me elected, you know, then uh, I would uh, be very happy. And, and Roseanne, and so one, they. one final message to our audience. Um, you know, just because she's a woman, uh, Hillary Clinton, you know, I, I think, you know, she's a woman, but, you know, come on. <laughs> I'm the real woman. You should vote for me. I I've never, like, been in cahoots with any of these people. And uh, I think that's what our country needs well, and I like, the world. I like what you said earlier. Show up. Stop all the talk and actually put your words to action. we got to show up in mass if we want to take this country back. Thank you so much. Roseanne I will. Barr. Can I say, yeah. can, I quote, can I quote one person or am I done, Abby? Go for it, Roseanne. Quote. Quote away. I quote Jesus. I quote Jesus, uh, a, a, a real cool Jewish guy. He said, um, faith without works is dead. Well said, well said. Roseanne Barr, TV legend, comedian, presidential candidate, thank you so much for coming on, breaking it all down. Power to the people. Break the echo chamber. Share this with someone who needs to hear it, or with someone you think might already get it. This video is Creative Commons. You have permission to download, copy, and distribute it by any means. If you'd like to support our work, you can donate at stormcloudsgathering.com forward slash donate. You can find the transcript, sources, and original video at stormcloudsgathering.com at the link below. For more, subscribe to Stormclouds Gathering on YouTube, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+.